Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and this is the, the, the a designer for From the Depths. Hello. And uh, what I plan today is a couple of, well, one build uh, we're going to look at is a resource uh, zone ship, which is upgradable. And we might do a couple of the levels of upgrade for the resource zone as well. Um, all in one build so we, we can see how uh, a, a resource zone uh, scrapper will sort of progress now this will be based upon a fortress rather than a boat uh, the reasons a couple of reasons for it the the fortress is um, you haven't got to worry about balancing floating etc it just stays level as long as you've got power it will stay at whatever height you have set it which is a great positive. It's also a very stable platform for any weapon systems we might put into place. Uh, so that's another positive uh, item for it. Uh, it's that, That's the main reasons of going for a fortune. It's, they're easy to move around, uh, put in position, etc. Um, they are slow, but once these resource zones, they will automatically go into the right area. You're, it's difficult to automatically or accidentally move them out of the area when you're moving around the map. You put a controller in there and an AI and they actually sort themselves out. They'll automatically go to the centre of the uh, appropriate area. So they're fairly automatic in that regard. Um, they're fairly, there's no cost wise. There's a little bit of cost in some of the materials uh, power. You need a power to make it uh, move. But that's minor in consideration to all the other costs we're going to have around. So we're going to go through a couple of builds. Let's put the interface on. Um, as I say, we're going to have something which is going to be maybe uh, three levels. We'll go through, first of all, let's just start. The, the core part of a resource zone is making it so that it can have the... Uh, let's go into the build menu quickly here. Um, under resources, you have the oil drill and the resource gatherer. They are the two primaries and possibly the crystal farms as well. Uh, but oil drill and resource gatherer. Now, one thing I noticed is the resource gatherer will only work if it is out of the water. So that is an important thing to remember. Do not put it underwater. The oil drill seems to work underwater, uh, which is a benefit, but the resource gatherer does not. So it's got to be raised up a little bit for it to work properly. So just remember that. But then again, the the or using a fortress, the fortress will always be above the water, uh, unless you specifically put it below the water, if that makes sense. Right. So design-wise, I'm going to think of something, a, a design. I'm, I'm going for a slightly pillar design, I think here, um, or what I call a pillar. We'll we'll have a have some thoughts. But first thing we're going to do, we're going to create a small little base so let's just um, say new object fortress and that will give us an, an initial we're going to get some height here because I'm going to be working on things below so that's going to give us that first point now we now to, need to quickly put some um, items down for us to be able to work on this so this is gonna be a very simple base I'm actually gonna go off off of the F F3 mode now number one we've got to do is get an engine on here so before I do anything else I'm just gonna put a really really simple engine just to power this uh, this will not be the engine we're gonna um, use long term this is just a quick engine to stop it moaning at me that we haven't got enough power so we just do this um let's see we just need a supercharger somewhere uh let's just put a supercharger uh, it doesn't really matter let's just put it there and then put some um fuel tanks everywhere else as i say this is not even really thinking about this this is just to stop it moaning at me because I want to build the whoops, I want to build the engine somewhere totally different. So how much power are we producing now? 89. That's going to be enough just to get us up and working. 
where we are now we're gonna have um, under Miller where are we where's the fortress blocks I can never remember where is it under air fortress no no um, where's the uh, I thought it was under miscellaneous fortress 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 a bit for raising the fortress up not here I've lost it I have lost it not in there not in there blocks other blocks am I going mad am I going completely utterly bonkers possibly I'll find it in a second engines 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 no 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 uh, control 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 fortress controllers no no I'm having a brain moment uh, I know it's here somewhere it really is and I can just go and point to the the one down below but this is now now annoying me uh, oh, 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 oh 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 no no what's sky fortress term oh yeah okay there it is ah <sighs> some days right now what I'm gonna do is uh, put a few of these in here I know that increases the cost so this is makes it a little bit more expensive initially so that's 3b Right, okay, so that reduces the power required to keep this up. Now, what I'm intending to do is actually have this as a central core, potentially, and then having these some beams come down. We'll surround that for the moment in beams. Always put some wood or something else around the outside, and maybe yeah, but leave it at that level for the moment. That's the forward. So next, we're just going to do a simple one. So this is where's the center line? Simple, simple gatherer as a stage one. I say simple, and I'm. I'm I say I'm going to make it simply, and then I'm done it, and then I start expanding on it. So uh, we, then we put another one at the other end. Now we can put the gathering components on this uh, here, so it, they're just facing down on this side. Uh, where should we put them? Where should we put them? We'll put. We've got to remember they've got to be out the water. So I put them on this side. Resources. The oil drill. We'll put. One, two, three oil drills on that side, and two oil drills on this side. One, two, and then we'll go. That isn't symmetrical, is it? No, that's not right. That's got to go there, and then that one there. So three, three, and three, and then on this side we put the resource gatherer. One, two, three, and on this side. One, two, three. Okay, so that's our core um, area, which is effectively effectively going to uh, produce all of our resources when it's uh, in the area it needs to go into. So the reason I've done this down like this is I'm going to box this off. This is going to be the, effectively the highest point here, and everything else is going to be below it. So it's effectively in the water because I like building things which are in the water. Now we have to keep these controllers above, but that's fine, they're just in a point down there, and if we need more, we'll build another pod at the other end. Right, so the reason I've done this here is this will be ready to put another one of these pods on as an upgrade. Um, what we need to do, we're going to put the engine in this, this area, Just expand this out a little bit more. Now, uh, to be fully up, um, we're, we've most probably used a little bit too much. What, what have we used already? 6,000. I think we're going to try and on this in first level, 
limit ourselves to about, let's say, about 20,000. But for that, we're going to need enough defences so that it could survive an attack or, or fighting something up to about 20 points value worth. Um, and see if, if, if that... Yeah, about 20 points. We're going to start using some wood. I don't mind using a bit more wood than I do metal, but we'll have metal and then maybe encase it um, all the areas with wood just as a, a, that additional effectively cheap armour. Like this. Put some wood down here. It's getting heavier. We'll have to do the engine in a second. Otherwise it will start complaining. Power wise for the engine. Uh, we need a couple of small shields. We're going to need shields on each side. Um, because it won't, it's not going to turn itself automatically. What we might do is create a turret on the top with a couple of shields on it and then let the sh turret face the enemy and that will effectively make the um, shield face the enemy. Yeah, I think that, that could work. So I have one very big shield sticking out and going down uh, fairly wide facing wherever the enemy is. We'll have to be a fair bit out, so we don't need a fair bit of power, or we'll put an extension on the end. Now, that's a, a minus side for this here. So uh, there's nothing to say this has to be like here. So in actual fact, I'm gonna change this. We said I, I said I was gonna make this a tower, and I'm gonna do that, because these resource zone, uh, resource area controllers, don't necessarily have to be see the ground yeah they can be above it um, or something in between it as far as I'm aware and we're just going to test that theory by going like this yeah so it's 83 124 didn't seem to make any difference so okay but what we're actually going to do is then do this we will extend this down another one go at the corners and potentially we'll pull all these down as well oops there we go a marker so that's going to be our new base level so if we go here now remembering these have got to be clear to the ground so that's fine so this is our new area on our definition now again with an engine the engine doesn't have to be it's not that says it has to be um, horizontal so we can create an engine here so let's just do engines which is the front uh, engine block. We're going to create it on this back wall. There we go. And we're going to face it that way. Go down one more. Uh, just there. Yeah. And then we're going to create some uh, crankshafts. Uh, how much power are we doing? We need about 1,000. At this level, about 500 power. Maybe 600. So that's going to be about um, one, double, one. We're going to do five cranks. See, we'll see what power we get from five. Uh, we have to. Now I haven't done. Let's do. Just do. Let's do a mirror line. That there. Oops. Um, cylinders. So as you can see, it's quite happily having a vertical engine. We don't need. A, we don't need no stinking horizontal. Vertical is fine. Carburetors. Surround it in carburetors. I'll do this as a couple of stages. We'll first oh, 
I've got you in there. I've got you in there. It's my standard uh, raised triple. Which I find. And there might be some more. I'll have to have a look at it. There might be some more um, uh, designs which are really good as well. But I've found this to be very efficient. And we'll put that into that three there. Okay. So we're up to 100. Uh, what are we up to on this? This is up to 10. Oh, okay, because we've put no fuel on it yet. Uh, now we start producing power. This is the point where the power really starts coming out of this. There we go. Yeah, we're up to 500 already. I haven't finished putting all of the uh, these in yet. Just got the top to go. Uh, let's see that and there. 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 And then on the top. Thirteen hundred power. That's enough. Well, let's get rid of that one on the top. Okie dokie. Right. So we just need to extend this core down a little bit further to now cover this engine. It's sticking out a little bit. Uh, we'll see if that has an effect on the um, effect on it. What we could do is, I'm suddenly thinking, is we could put these the uh, gatherers on the end instead of the side. If it's going to stick out there, put the uh, gatherers on this end pointing down instead. Yes, we might just do that quickly. Let's uh, quickly uh, take these away. And uh, we'll put them on here. It doesn't matter if these get damaged, to be honest. I'm not too worried about it. So that's an oil. How many oils? Not the big thing. Let's just put them in and put resource gatherers in here. Resources, resource gatherer. One, two, three. So we've got six there. Oh, no. And we're going to do on this side resource gatherer and three oil. So, okay, that will work out okay. Edit oil, 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 oil drill. There we go. Right, so we can uh, get rid of some of these blocks here. And we'll instead put them back in but straight on the side. And cover these around the end so they are the same on each end. There we go. Da -da -da. Okay, so that's the basis. Let's just let's see if it will. Um, I say fly. Let's see if it it will um, work. If I take off the caps lock, that is now basically. If I put a controller on that, control. Let's put a fortress controller. With fortress controller will go somewhere else eventually. Put that and we put chair. We go to there. Okay, so I'm now 10 feet up. Okay, let's go down. Down, down, deeper and down. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So even at zero, because it's doing it on the base, which is the end, that's still working. We've got plenty of power, power draw, 1.4, cool. With that high off the water. So no, that's okay, that's okay. We'll fill out a bit of bit of armor on here. We'll go up it again a little bit just to get out, out of this. Actually, if we can, if we can, because we can't use uh, the caps lock method in this. So we will be taking it up as high as we can in build mode. You can see that even here, it's not using that much energy. And we can always add more 
in the supp supplementary pods of the fortress controllers. Um, okay. So, I'm going to next, before we go any further, I will let's get rid of that. Now, weaponry. Um, what weaponry would we want on this? Let's think about that next. If we were to be um, wanting to defend ourselves uh, against, let's say, at the moment, Deepwater Guard, but other ones, up to a value of 20, um, we would need so a, t a gun. Uh, we'll, we'll just follow the design of, say, one of the um, systems we've got. Let's say, like, the turtle destroyer it has a gun on the top which we want to be to do a rotating shield so a reasonable gun now we won't make it a, the tower a pintle mount design we're just going to do a, a single turret on the top that's got um shed load of um basically everything in the turret itself which makes it vulnerable but hey ho can't have everything so new object 360 turret, precision turret, which is forward, and there's forward, we'll put it just here. Now we will um, start with the uh, six-way connectors. Now we're going to use, so our, we can we can make a large-ish gun here, uh, allowing for the fact I want to have a shield on the front which extends out further than um, here so we can make this turret quite large almost the same size as the the area we've got on here and actually there's there's some some something about symmetricalness that, that I like about that we make this a little bit bigger actually um, go back to editing the hull I'm wondering about making I, I'd love to make this a circle I wonder if I fill this out with a bit of wood, as much as I can. Um, whoops. Mirror line. Let's put the mirror line in now. No, that's not what I want. Go down a bit. So circles on squares are always a pain to, to do. Um, out there. It's going to be a big ass circle if I did this as a circle, but it would be fun and would be have its own sort of uh, ability to to defend itself. So if I go, we're going to be a, let's be a bit rough with the circle. So one, two, three, uh, one, two. Now it's not it's it's wider than long at the moment. So how thing we've got. Four, five, six. So we need six wide in the centre. So uh, one, it's ee. one's one's way is even and one way is odd. It's not to be a perfect circle, to say the least. Okay, that's looking that's looking not too bad. Not a perfect circle, in it by any stretch of the imagination. We'll we'll fill out this top. It's a lot. There's a lot of wood here as well, um, obviously. I'm gonna fill out the top, but going down, I might just have the outsides um, level. Yeah, plenty of plenty of resources. Right. So, um, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get that right. Bomb. Bomb. Something's not right there because I didn't mirror properly. Maybe I didn't do that and also this has got to be this can't be because this has got to be even so there and there it's got to be even so take that one out there okay so that's a three five three five and is it that's not quite even there if I go that like that yeah one in and then three five one in Oh, one out, so it's out by one. 
Uh, got to level these up. Is that, I can't have it not level. So, okay, let's see. Is that right? No, something's not right there. Something's not right there. Something's not right there. Okay, one, two, two out from there. One, two. So take that one out. Then uh, one diagonal. One diagonal. So take that one out there. Two forward. Yeah. Then a five and a three. So that's ended up as a two just there. Two out from there. One, two out there. One diagonal. Okay. That five and a three. Sort of circular, not perfect, because we've got slightly things which are slightly obl oblonged, but that'll do. Okay, so that's given us, let's go back to the turret. I'll fill out all of this later. Um, we've just got the basics here, and I'll do that as a time up. So let me um, do that. Then what, uh, what else are we going to have? Uh, we may have, we'll need some missiles. Now, one thing we've got to be careful of is we don't want missiles which... Um, impact on the top so what we're going to create is sideways and i'll put where where our resource gatherers are there so that's fine so let's say at this level i'm just going to mark them out for the moment get onto the hull uh there we go now allowing for the turret will be if the turret faces over then so be it and in actual fact we can do this with word because it's only the very center we want to have as hyper um, critical we might change some of these blocks later we go out here go out a little bit further okay so that's level with the edge of there one more And I've got to put the mirror line on because I'm an idiot. And then we can have some missiles coming up from a little pod attached to there. So they might even be slightly under the water. Let's just put them here while I'm thinking about it. Won't be too many, but enough missiles to give a little bit of an alpha strike. Um, jump out of the water, aim at their target. Hopefully, as long as the gun's not pointed, the barrel's not actually over the missiles, literally, at that time, we should be fine. So I've done them sideways. Hopefully, the uh, the AI will point forward. So we've got potential for uh, a block of four, so that's a good eight on each side, so maybe 16 missiles. So let me finish this off in a bit of time lapse, and then we'll see, once I've come back, with a basic system what it looks like and what it fights like so see you shortly
Okay, welcome back. That was a fair bit of building there and uh, alterations of various bits. Um, as you can see, well, hopefully you can see, um, it's got a double gun on it now. I, let's just put it up to a height of one. And we've put some shields on there, a lot of use of wood. Uh, it's a little bit more resource hungry than I wanted, 14, uh, 40,000. Eh, but let's see how it does in a fight and see if I need to change anything. So we've got a fairly big double guns here. Um, I know I was not saying, so I said, oh, I'm not worried about the aesthetics, but I can't help it. Uh, I've got to make it look good. Um, it's no fun of, of, otherwise. Um, so everything's a little bit out of the water in places, but um, I think we'll be okay. Uh, we we'll just have to see how it stands up. So um, we're a bit close, I think, to this at the moment. But let's 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 uh, have a check. Let's put myself. Where's my seat? Where's my seat? There is a seat in the control here. That you get in the seat. Thank you. Right. Um, oh yeah, there was one thing I wanted to do. Some more repair bots. Right, let's put some in here and put, put some repair bots around a um, couple in here I'd like to put repair bots closer to where they're going to be needed so put oops that one's that most of it won't work a few in here uh, a couple of the other side in, in the mainframe room uh, two there um, just below the missile in case that takes any damage Same this side. Where else might I need some? Up near the turret, I suppose. Uh, let's put some. Let's put some around the back. Let's put a ring uh, around here. So a little bit lower. Let's put it level with the shield, so it gets a little bit of shield cover. Right, still, this is still upgradable because uh, we can change the metal, um, add a lot more metal onto this. We can uh, upgrade the guns. I've left plenty of room in the guns. I've not used all of the space at the moment. Uh, the blocks are not all filled in. We'll see how it does. Um, as I said, the aim was to fight against 20s. Let's make sure it's all on. There we go. Okay, so everything's on. Uh, fleet move etc. Uh, it's not moving at the moment. Let's go off here. Off here one more time. Uh, save the vehicle. Resource for Right, so, okay. Let's see what is a level 20. Let's go for a ship first. A uh, Vanguard is two, so I need something a bit bigger. Marauder. Okay, let's start with Marauder. It's always a good one. Um, it takes a lot of damage to destroy it and it's got a good enough gun that if it does get you you're dead and your gun's facing the wrong way <sighs> I've built the gun backwards well that's a bit of a problem these aren't firing why is that um, Oh, they are fine. They just weren't in range on the first one. Okay, so uh, my first thing is sort out why did I build this gun back to flipping the front? <sighs> okay, what's the quickest way to resolve this? Is. Because um, that's a lot of gun to try and uh, flip around. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. That's funny. I uh, make some silly mistakes sometimes. Okay, I will be back once I've flipped the gun around. Okay, welcome back. I sorted out the turret. Um, I was able to make a sub-object of it and then put it back onto the uh, spinner. So that made it a little easier. Um, okay, so now we can properly test it. Um, everything's in place. We're starting it at default height, but what we could do if we were actually in a battle is just reduce the height down. 
so we could put it into the water a little bit doesn't use much power and it would just give that little extra protection so we'll do that it's always an option if it starts taking too much damage but I think in general we'll start it at zero which is when it spawns in which would be roughly what it's going to be at as a starting point and then see from there how we go um, oops wrong button so now we need to find something uh, around the 20 mark what's without going mad a patchwork uh, no we're going to go for the plunderer yeah plunderer that was in that game we just uh, did we had a plunderer come in we haven't done a ransack before so and it's a 20 it's a 20 percent chance of it being it so let's go for one of these let's see if Okay, everything turned on. The shields turn on automatically if an enemy is in range. Let's go and have a look at the damage this is doing. We're okay at the moment. The guns are firing in nicely. What we can do is take it down a little bit to that minus, uh, about minus five, I think it was. There we go. So now it's under the water. Not Well, not under the water go and have a look at minus five it's just sticking out a little bit in fact we could take it down even a little further oops that's my one there, let's take it down so guns just out there we go just there how's it doing on this this uh, plunderer okay we're taking a bit of damage which is expected um, our energy is okay. Our ammo isn't really keeping up. Now, normally I'm not worried about ammo usage, so I might put a bit more produ producers on there. Our ammo is not critical, but it could be a little few more producers. Whoopsie daisy. A bit too far. Um, there they are, some more of these. Because, as I say, in this situation, I'm not worried about um, the amount of, of, of metal. I'm trying to, uh, I'm over a resource resource point. I should be using the, the resources as they're taken from the area, effectively. Okay, one there, one there. Yes. Yes, keep an eye on the power, make sure the power doesn't go off by too much. 200, yeah, we're still okay at the moment. I don't think it's an explosive, we'll have to try them in the future. Okay, let's see. Um, that will help with ammo production. How's this plunderer? Is the plunderer getting pulverised? Missiles are coming in quite nicely. Actually, the missiles are only just making it. So I'm a little surprised at that. These are all supposed to be fairly uh, big missiles. Uh, where's some of these missiles going? Let's check one of these missile pods. Short range things. I haven't put one, one turn on it. Idiot. That's the same with the other one as well. Only half of missiles were getting there. Because, oh yeah, this one's not even got the right, right missiles. Fins, fuel, fuel, fuel. One turn. Target. Fragment at 10. I forgot to set up the... Uh, thing. Let's just make sure that is the same on both sides. Oh, proximity. I forgot the proximity fuse. Target... One turn, target, proximity, explosive. And we'll put a delay of two seconds on firing. So it jumps out the water and then we'll do it. I like, I like having that little de delay on there. This one's got a slightly different delay, just in case it has an effect. These will pop out, jump, and then fire. That's better. They're all heading in the right direction now, at least. 
Right, the gun run out of ammo fairly quickly, but I think, yeah, this will do. Uh, it's just about taking that out. I think if those initial missiles had been on target, it would have been a bit better. It's just that they were basically uh, shooting the wrong way up first. They, they hadn't had the settings adjusted. Uh, explosive is working well. The uh, reason for the, for the um, proximities are it will help if it has to go against aircraft or flying ships. I'm not going to do the angry chicken against this. I think the angry chicken might be a, a stage too far. Um, but it's actually doing quite well here. If anything, the ammo production is positive. Which is good. Now, possibly that's because the guns are not firing as much. Okay, the guns have had a, a little bit of a problem. It's, due to, looks like, plunder is firing torpedoes in, which is having an effect on the guns. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. We, we are, we, we have to allow for loss. The guns are there, uh, are a, an area, and if they stop firing, that's good. Not, sorry, stop, stop firing is the wrong word. If they uh, only fire for a while, uh, use their ammo up, and then it's down to missiles, but it seems to be holding itself, although it's now got to a point where it's too close for the missiles. So the missiles need to be slightly different. Let's see, let's change one of these then. One pod to be a close range missile. There we go. Two fins, not as much range. We'll give it a, a, a fragmentation as well. So some frags on this, say about 10, 10 degrees. Um, we'll take out the proximity. So we'll put to keep the range actually. So we'll put that and uh, we'll put the target prediction. Let's see, one, two, two fins, two fields, we the one turn. There we go. So this is without but they return quicker. Hopefully. In fact, they can have a three second delay by the looks of that. Give them a three second delay. Sign to all. So they'll pop up. their little jump, a little hop, and then fire. Oops, some of them are not contacting. The other simple one I can do is possibly create a little missile turret on here somewhere. Uh, directed missiles are just purely for um, close range so again it's the I, I'm, I uh, just put the two systems in I only put the long range I didn't really allow for short range okay let's just put, put one more fin in these so another fin three fins but severely limit their range down to say about 600 uh, what, range, what range is that at the moment? I don't think it would tell me. No. Well, uh, there's the controller. There's my controller. There we go. We'll change this down to six. Yeah, that's better. Look, that's coming in quite nicely now. So that's my close range missiles and the longer range missiles. Close range will be frags. Yeah, 
long range are HE. Uh, what is the range here? So stop firing them at uh, about 300 then. These don't really want to fire at 300. There's lots of little tuning like this that goes into, into these ships. It takes the time. Uh, testing and tuning. Um, some people can't be bothered. So you know that range is going to work. So we'll say minimum range 350. So firing those. The guns don't effectively have a minimum range at this level. In actual fact, our ammo production now is quite good. The yeah, guns have, have also repaired themselves enough. They are effectively um, firing at point-blank range. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's basically toast, he's toast. So, okay, that's is successful, so we will use this in the in the uh, campaign. A few minor mods, I might put a scrapper and um, spawner on here um, before it goes into the campaign, and might give it a paint job. But generally, this is now complete, so we'll just bring it out so you, we can have a look at it. One final look. Because obviously, screenshot. Oops, didn't mean to face off. Screenshots. We want screenshots. There we go. Oh, that does, uh, that's uh, not good when it's underwater, having that uh, three seconds. It's obviously a little too much. In two seconds is, is enough, they just pop out, give a little hop, and then they're off. Hop, and then they're off. Yeah, it'd, it'd effectively be toast. Okay. Okay, hopefully um, we'll use this in the campaign. Um, for that, uh, I will leave it in the home station, or um, move it, or maybe move this up to that new point and leave Atlantis at home station. Uh, for the moment. Uh, I'll have a think about which way I might do it. If Atlantis stays at the at the home base, because that's Atlantis after all, and then we move these up into each resource point as we uh, take them. Uh, could be an interesting idea. And one thing is we'll have a recon balloon stationed with them initially to give us the, uh, the visibility all around. But hopefully you enjoyed this. A uh, little build video, some more building I enjoy the building generally um, it's good fun trying to work things out and get it all working um, any comments on this and we will upgrade this to a version 2 in the future when we get some more resources uh, we'll possibly upgrade this uh, make it a bit more a bit more metal on it you know things like that just give it a little bit of a, a boost um, in various areas but for the moment please click those like and subscribe buttons have all on, on the page for you. Any comments, leave them below. But until next time, screenshot and have fun.